as part of my series on the quantum body, the new science of living a longer, healthier, more vital life. My forthcoming book with Jack Tuzinski, quantum biologist and quantum physicist, and Brian Fertig, MD, um, who's also a fellow endocrinologist. Uh, as part of that discussion, I want to talk about intentionality because everything starts with intentionality, right? I am intending to talk to you. So is intentionality quantum in nature? <clears throat> what is intentionality? Intentionality is a property of mental states that are directed towards something. Now, because we're talking quantum mechanics and, you know, um, Schrodinger's cat is a very famous example. Uh, let's say I have a belief about a cat. And as soon as I have a belief about a cat, in any way, you know, cat is um, a good pet, etc., then my belief will direct my attention towards all things that could be cat or cat related. Intentionality, therefore, is a central feature of many mental states, including beliefs, desires, hopes, fears, and perceptions. I would say intentionality is entangled with beliefs, desires, hopes, fears, and intentions. When we look at quantum mechanics, we see that it is a branch of physics that studies the behavior of that which we call matter at the atomic and subatomic levels. Uh, and at the quantum level, matter behaves in ways that are very different from how it behaves at the macroscopic level. For example, quantum particles can be in multiple states at the same time, and they can teleport from one place to another. One of the most striking parallels between intentionality and quantum mechanics is the idea of superposition. Superposition is the property of quantum particles that can be in multiple states at the same time. <clears throat> so, for example, an electron can be in a state where it is both spinning up and spinning down at the same time. Intentionality has also been compared to the phenomenon of quantum entanglement, uh, which I just mentioned is uh, uh, a phenomenon where uh, two or more quantum particles are linked together in such a way that they share the same fate, even if they're separated by a large distance. So this is the reason some scientists and philosophers have argued that these parallels suggest that intentionality may be quantum in nature. The Nobel Prize winning uh, physicist Roger Penrose, whom I have had the privilege of meeting, has argued that consciousness is a quantum phenomenon and that intentionality is a key feature of consciousness. And uh, here are some specific examples of the parallels between intentionality and quantum mechanics. One, as I mentioned, superposition. Intentionality can be seen as a kind of superposition in the sense that a single mental state can be directed towards multiple objects or states of affairs. For example, when I have the belief and going back to our cat example, the cat is on the mat. My belief is directed towards both the cat and the mat. Now coming to entanglement, intentionality can also be seen as a kind of entanglement in the sense that different mental states can be linked together in such a way that they share the same fate. For example, again, my belief that the cat is on the mat is entangled with my desire to feed the cat. If I discover that the cat is not on the mat, this will change my belief and it will also change my desire. Look at non-locality. Intentionally, intentionality seems to be non-local in, in the sense that it can be directed towards objects or states of affairs that are not present locally or in the immediate vicinity. For example, when I think about the cat, using the cat example, my intentionality is directed towards the cat, even if the cat is not in the same room as I am. 
these parallels suggest that there may be a deep connection between intentionality and quantum mechanics. So having said that, also intentionality is involved in the observer effect. Intentionality is involved in the collapse of the wave function. So where is intention before you have it? Where does it exist? Where else? In the field of all possibilities. And it becomes a cloud of probabilities and then it collapses as um, everything that's connected all at the same time with that intention. And the cat example, I hope, uh, helps a little bit. Okay. Let me know what you think. If intentionality is quantum, and if it comes from the source of all experience, then it organizes its own fulfillment through non-local correlation, which in spiritual traditions is called synchronicity. You want to go further? It's meaningful coincidence. It's good luck. It's the grace of God. It is intention rooted in the quantum field organizing its own fulfillment well we're going pretty deep and i hope um, um, if you agree we can discuss all this when we create the book club for quantum body let me know what you think